Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Gaming Truce here, and welcome back to, I guess, a reaction video. This one's more of the lines of a news video that I used to do back in 2020, but um, we are here today because we are going to be talking about Bayonetta 3. Now, why are we talking about Bayonetta 3? I don't play Bayonetta. A lot of my uh, games, I don't, I didn't never stream Bayonetta. I actually don't own any Bayonetta thing other than Smash Ultimate, which has Bayonetta in the game. But other than that, I've never played Bayonetta. I never got into the series. So why are we talking about Bayonetta 3's boycott videos and this whole entire drama to begin with? Well, because she's a voice actor. I want to be a voice actor. I like um, voice acting. I like portraying myself as characters, as fictional characters. I mean, heck, I live stream as a Mobian OC. So, uh, <laughs> if, if that doesn't scream voice acting, I don't know what does, and I do actually want to get into it. Um, also, um, I just realized that my camera, I can just, I, I need, I need to mimic what this dude's doing, just zoom this in, and then just, bam, there we go. So, we are watching Player Essence's, uh, reaction to this whole entire thing. He, uh, he's going to give his two cents, I'm going to give my two cents. Together, we have four cents. Um, but, uh, we are going to get into this, um... And like I commented uh, before I started filming, this is the fourth. Oh, there. Yeah. This is the fourth Great Ninja War. This is better than the fourth Great Ninja War, and I stand to that. Oh my gosh, let's get into it. Here we go again. Goodness gracious, Coffee this on standby. story just keeps going. It's the Energizer Bunny. Like it just keeps going. It just keeps on moving. It's like the Dark Void, the space. I thought this was over. I, I think everyone did. Much going to be I think everyone thought this was over because she freaking said that she was leaving. She said, I want to leave this. So, again, if you guys don't know the controversy, if you guys don't know the full story, I'll leave links to his videos because he and Spawn Wave do a fantastic job uh, explaining just the, the, uh, the situation at hand. I'll just... Go watch this content because he has the he has the news. He has the news. And same thing with uh, Spawncast. Um, but um, basically, short and sweet to the point, she, Helena Taylor came out, I think it was last week on Saturday. No, no, it was the two weeks ago now on Saturday. He, she came out and she said that basically Platinum was screwing them over. Uh, she ha was basically offered X amount of money. She basically declined it because um, she thought she was getting paid too little. And then she told people to boycott Bayonetta 3 and to hate on the new voice actor, which I can't think of her name. I'll put it right there. Go, go, yeah, there we go. You got the name right there. I apologize. If for some reason they see this video, I apologize. I'm on your team. I'm on your side. Because honestly, the stuff she's been posting now has been very, very crazy. So... Let's keep going. With my last video where I made with I'm going to try my best not to pause it. It's a 15 minute video. Platinum Games developer that blasted the industry over the Bayonetta 3 boycott and how the developers didn't get any support. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's more. You guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Link down below, the by the way. Bell, Give him up. One up this video. Helena One. Taylor, the former voice actor for Bayonetta has came out, even though she said that she was done. She said that she was done. She's moving on. She's doing her theater stuff. She wanted to do the theater. See, th that's the thing. That's the thing. If you said you were done, then stop talking about it. You don't need to make, like, 50 Twitter threads and keep on digging your own grave. I'm sorry. I can't stand with Helena Taylor right now, but, like, come She's on. done with this. After the report from Bloomberg, which was corroborated by multiple other professional sources, she said she was done. But no, she's not done. <laughs> she's back at it again. Back at it again. I can't help but laugh. It's not like a laughing matter, but I can't help but laugh because, <laughs> like, I, how many videos are we gonna make? Like ten videos on this? Like, Dude, he made like fourteen. I went and double checked before this recording. He made like fourteen different videos, like counting his streams, like. He has like 14, oh, and I didn't even count like the spawn cast where they talked about it, I think twice now. So, anyway, let's get into what Ms. Helena Taylor had to say here. If you don't know the controversy with Boycott Ben at a 3 situation, check out my previous videos. I've rounded up all Again, the information his channels out there, in the like description. everything from step from step, so you can just watch the previous ones. I'll have some pertinent ones linked with all the information. 
Well, let's get into this because Helena Taylor has responded right as I'm editing a different video. She of course. Put this up and I'm back at it again myself with this. So let's read back at it again. Say. So on Twitter, on October 23rd at 10:24 p.m. Oh wow, this is time, this is this is actually the fourth great digital war. What the heck? Some people are calling me a liar and gold digger. I feel the need to defend myself and my reputation in the industry. C thread. Hashtag Platinum Games Nintendo. You don't need to see. You don't need to say C thread when you, when you click on the thing. It has the thread. Like I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just like bro. You don't need to put C thread. You could just move on. But I digress. Bye bye. That's that that that's a nitpick for a thing. But let's keep going. Let's see what she has to say. Next up. As I posted on part three of my video thread, I explained that their first offer was too low. That offer was $10,000 total. Remember, this is a $450 million franchise, not counting merchandise. Oh my lord, I, I can't believe she... Japanese to Hideki Kamiya asking for what I was worth. Now, I'm... No, okay, one second. I'm, I'm going to say this right now before he puts in his two cents. Multiple, multiple sources from Player Essence, from Spawn Wave, from the sales records, from everything... This is a fabrication. She thinks her hype is this much. Like, she is a good voice actor, don't get me wrong, but like... Bo, Bayonetta is not that big of a franchise. Okay, with that, but just to let you guys know, there is no evidence from any numbers being released that Bayonetta is a half billion dollar franchise. He's got not it. Including merchandise. Like, the sales numbers in terms of what we know just aren't there. So Helena Taylor is saying that it is worth half a billion or it's half a billion without including merchandise but there's no way to actually verify that from these sales numbers or anything that sega nintendo or platinum games has said so she's just saying that it's worth half a billion or it's a half a billion dollar franchise i just don't know where that money's coming from because the sales numbers don't equate to half a Excuse billion me. from what we know unless they were selling copies out the yin yang and nobody heard about it but I'll take whatever. It anyway so let's continue on here I thought that as a creative, he would understand. He replied saying how much he valued my contribution to the game and how much the fans wanted me to voice the game. I was then offered an extra 5,000. I think she meant 5,000, but this looks like it could be 50,000. Although she... I think she... I think she... I think she... I think she, I think she, she means that. I don't know. I mean, that, that could be... She could very well. I mean, honestly, angry typing. You probably misspell stuff. Heck, I... I always miss typos stuff all the time. Like, it's bad. I need to stop that. But, yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> there. I hit, the, I hit so all the stuff, spacebar. 5,000, but, I mean, it can be looked at, I guess, as like 50,000. She made a typo. You know, anyway, she's probably really angry. So, I mean, that's why the typo's coming out. I don't think she ran this through her lawyer first or anything. Like oh, that. no. That typo wouldn't be here, you know, right here. Oh, no. I, I, I feel like if she was really running through this, if she was running through this with a lawyer, there will be no, there will be no way they will, they will say that this is a $45 million franchise unless if they did, didn't do the research. Continue on. So I declined to voice the game. I then heard nothing from them for 11 months. They then offered me a flat fee to voice some lines for $4,000. Any other lies, such as 4000 for five sessions, are total fabrications no okay so wait why didn't you just take it for the five whatever this number is like why don't you just take it for that much like you're still getting paid like that's still good in my opinion again i'm not a voice actor this is like i'm not a professional voice actor i should say i never got paid to voice in a game movie am it whatever have you but um i feel like if this was a misclick like, okay, sure, 500, that's still not a lot in the grand scheme of things. But if it's not, like, I, I'm still thinking that this is not, like, just because, like, I, I, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt, I really do, but she keeps saying the most stupid stuff throughout the entire, like, throughout this entire, like, thing, you know? That's interesting. So 10,000, then an extra 5,000, how many sessions would it be? So... Total fabrications, I guess, on that one. There were not extensive negotiations. I've also been informed of ridiculous fictions, such as I asked for 
thousand dollars. I have not heard that yet. No, any of I. Player, I was just asking for a fair living wage in line with the value that I bring to this game. I was paid a shockingly low total of three thousand British pounds total for the first game. Okay. A little more for the second. I wanted to voice her. I have drummed up interest in this game ever since I started on Twitter in 2011. So does she have any more or is she done there? I okay. think she's done. So here's the breakdown with this, guys, because this becomes far more interesting. Because at first she just denied everything from that report with Jason Schreier and everyone else. She just said it's lies. They're trying to save their ass. But then she goes, oh, well, they offered me 10000 Then they offered me another 5000 for it. Like in it, your original video, Ms. Taylor, you just said, yeah, the offer wasn't good enough. But you didn't tell us what that offer is. You didn't. Yeah, she, she didn't say anything. She legit did not say a single thing regarding to any of this. I think she's trying to save her own hide. By trying to like make something up, I feel like there's no way that she would be able to like she like she like he said he does there's no way like she didn't say that in her which like yeah she didn't say that in the whole which on post that she was making like X amount of money. Explain to us what that offer is. You focused in on the four thousand dollars to make it look a lot worse, as if they didn't give you. Oh, this is gameplay money. of Bayonetta, that, by the way. Fifteen thousand dollars is four times the union rate when it comes down to it, and a major increase over what you got with Bayonetta one. And you didn't want to tell us what you got for Bayonetta two. You could have easily put what you got for Bayonetta two, but you said a little more. Well, how much is a little more? This lady likes omitting information. She likes omitting information. She likes not actually providing any type of proof or evidence to journalists. And I don't want to seem on one side or another, but it's hard for me. Someone exactly. Exactly. These people don't. Like, this is the thing. This is the thing with people, bro. Like, he's going to say it. Critical thinking. At least just normal thinking in general. Like, you don't even have to be that critical. Like you, you, like, you don't have to be like, okay, there's always black or white. Oh, I just whacked my desk, I apologize. But, like, it doesn't have to be black or white. But at the same time, use common sense. This She's obviously, she's obviously, like, there's something else that was up. And she got upset. She left. And basically, her entire thing is that she wants to just destroy the entire game. Despite the amount of people... That worked on it. Because she's not the only one working on a game. There's other voice actors. There is other... Like, there's a producer. There's a director. Like, it making a game is like making a movie. But just adding in, like, two or three more extra steps. And again, that's an over-exaggeration. But I digress. Like, and as someone who is a filmmaker. Like, I literally went to school for this type of thing. I, I can... I can... See, like, even, like, how movies and games, like... Are kind of like this if you think about it like I know that there's like more like with coding and there's more with like game plus game testers and all that other stuff like that all makes sense because like even with film like you still have like uh test audiences and all that thinking someone who looks at everything on both sides it's hard for me to sit here and say oh you know what well she came out and said some things platinum games has some explaining to do no they said they gave you 15000 You said it was a lie after the reports. You didn't say some of the stuff was true and some of the stuff was false. You said it was a lie after the reports. You said it was a lie and you didn't specify which one it was. On top of that, you said that you wanted to move on from this. And even after you said that you wanted to move on from this, you, you create more tweets. Exactly. You misled, you misled people and you can't be a team player. If you were one, you wouldn't want to sink the whole game that has all the people that you've worked with before on there. It and the new voice. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, yes. Even the new voice actor. She took headshots at the voice act. That's what bugs me about this whole thing. She could have just left it. She could have just left the third video out. 
And she could have just said, boycott the game, and just moved on. She didn't have to, like, really say much else after, like, I think it was the second video, and then the third video. She took little headshots at the, uh, um, I think he said Hideki Kamiya, and then whoever the new voice actor is. Again, I don't know the name, but keep let's, let, let's keep going. If you were a team player, you would say, hey, you know what? I feel that I'm worth more when it comes down to it. But you're not going to want to sink your friends that have put their hard-earned time and effort and everything into this game. How are you a team player when you want to completely take down a game and have them not have success because you didn't get the amount of money that you want, that you felt that you were worth, which was four times over your union rates that you're a part of? And this $450 million franchise stuff, you're going to have to show some receipts for things like that. It's easy to fool people on Twitter, and it's easy to fool the naive who will just blindly believe people with the face over Nintendo because they don't like them, or Platinum Games, or because they don't like Kamiya. But this is getting ridiculous, Miss Taylor. You're going to have to bring some receipts, and you have to let people know. You have to be honest up front at first. You had three videos to tell us exactly fifteen thousand dollars offered to you, and you didn't do so. You didn't do so at all. Everybody was running with the number. Four thousand exactly. dollars in the very beginning, and you also didn't address the fact that you took shots at Jennifer Hale. And Jennifer Hale, that's her name. Okay, I apologize. I know it took me what well, sixty minutes into this video, and I just now remembered Jennifer Hale's name. If for whatever reason you're watching this, um, <laughs> I apologize. I'm. It's nine twenty-five, and I've been up since five. You potentially leaked a side game with John and saying to boycott that game, which maybe you wouldn't have anything to do with. So you're screwing over other voice actresses or actors in that space too, because you're saying boycott a game that isn't even announced yet. Exactly. How can you be a team player when you're wanting to actually derail, potentially derail the careers of people that you work with because exactly you the money that you wanted. That is not a team player. Whoa. You're the type of person that if you were on an American football team, they would send you back into the locker room. They'd find you or maybe even cut you or trade you to a different team because you are disrupting everything. I get you want to make more money. You want to get what you're paid or what you're worth. But don't bring this team player stuff and all that when you're literally trying to get people to boycott exactly. a franchise that has never individually sold more than 2 million units on any singular platform that it's been on from what we know, from the numbers that have been revealed. Exactly. So somehow a half billion dollar franchise for some reason based off of what numbers. I'm sorry, guys. If it sounds like I'm just discrediting her, it's hard for me to believe this when she didn't come out and say this from the beginning. Exactly. She waited until October 24th. The first time we saw something. One second. I gotta go. I gotta go find it now. The first time he said anything. The first time she got anything was eight days ago at the time of this recording. I apologize for my mic just, like, screaming, but, like... Eight days. She had eight days to say something. And she did it. The man made videos eight days ago talking about this. Whoa, let's keep watching. I apologize. I said that they lied about stuff, but clearly you were offered more than that $4,000. You should have been honest and upfront. And clear from the very beginning instead of just saying the offer was too low well how low was it what was the offer you didn't let us know and now you want to come out and say oh well they offered me this and they offered me this and all that Helena please young lady cut the cap on this one exactly this is, this is absolutely ridiculous this stuff here I get it you know you have your truth that you want to abide by you have what you're saying that you want to abide by but I'm not boycotting anything and I highly recommend for all of you guys that are watching this video, buy a copy. And if you have the extra cheddar, the extra bread, buy another copy and start the hashtag buy Bayonetta 3. I think I'm going to do that. Buy Bayonetta 3. This isn't the mark of a team player. Okay. We've all been there before. We've all not gotten an offer from a company or something or from whatever the case is to try to sink everyone because you didn't get what you want than to be misleading at first and not tell people up front what you got when it comes down to it and then say when the reports came out say that it's a lie and not give further context 
not provide any receipts, not provide anything to that. Not providing the sanctions. facts. I'm sorry. I'm tuning this out because one, even if what you were saying was correct from the very beginning, I don't believe that one voice actor should cause everybody in the world to suffer. Exactly. Okay? That's great. You're the voice of Bayonetta. I get that. And I appreciate the work that you've done. I'm not trying to bash you here, but I'm just giving, in my opinion, my own thoughts. I don't feel a boycott is in hand here. Yeah, for boycotting does nothing but except make you look childish. Saying, oh, because she's bad, I'm just going to not support the actual other people that play. Now, sorry, with something like Activision Blizzard, if I'm going to bring them into this, they did that to a lot of employees. Like, I'm not going to say what it is. You, you guys know I know it because of the amount of news and back whenever I was posting up the news sorts on my page. You guys already know that. Activision Blizzard is not a good company. And there was definitely, like, I want to support, like, the creators and, like, the people that actually put the time into their work. Not supporting toxic people who want to go and sink the entire ship. Like, Black Mage Benjamin said it perfectly. Try, um, whenever the entire, um, thing of Activision happened, because he's, he's a fan of Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot's owned by Activision. At that point in time, he said, play, support the careers in a different way, but don't give Activision money. Because at that moment, because, like, he was, like, wanting to, like, only support the creators, like, actually support the people that actually, you know, are good in this and not try to give you know the ceo x amount of money and then that whole thing which i can't remember all the details off the top of my head again i woke up this morning one voice i know that's not an excuse but that i'm want. again not even fully awake yet working on the game there's a bunch of developers that are working on the game it's more than just one person in my opinion i'm not sinking the whole ship because one person is throwing a little bit of a fit of not getting certain money that they wanted Sorry about that. And fifteen thousand dollars for one week is more than what a lot of people get paid. And once again, over your union rates. And you were dishonest about that from the beginning. You misled people from the beginning in order to make it look worse with the four thousand. I'm sorry, Miss Taylor. There is a lot of issues with all of these statements here. There's a lot of issues here, and that's something that you're probably gonna find out. When it comes down to what people are saying, maybe with some of the Twitter bubble that's out there, they'll believe you on all these different type of things. And I believe that there's probably some truth in all of this. The problem is how you presented it at first. Another problem is the fact that you call yourself a team player, but you're turning your back on people that you've worked with before because you didn't get the amount that you wanted. This... Like to me, that's just a little bit too much. This does not move the conversation forward when it comes to voice actor pay this does not make things better for anybody involved and you're actively what it seems like trying to sabotage other people that you worked with exactly voice exactly you know, if, if this game doesn't do as well speak maybe they don't get as many preach in the future so i'm sorry i can't really vibe with what is being said here and i have major issues when it comes to the validity of what she's saying I can't 100% trust what Platinum Games is saying, but what I can look at is what the reporters are saying and how they verify the information from multiple different sources. They got that Biakagon. There's a scene where the... not say that information from the beginning, and you said it was lies. Why didn't you confirm that you were offered $15,000? Exactly. That you waited all the way till now to say 10000 then 5000 and then later it was 4000 for a few lines. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is stuff that should have been clarified from the very beginning, mm. but it wouldn't have hmm. made your argument look as compelling because obviously that 15000 is a lot more than your own union that you're signed up for. So oh guys, gosh. don't boycott Bayonetta. Buy Bayonetta 3. It's a phenomenal game. Some people have already got the game. It leaked early in some places, physical copies as well. People are saying that it's the best Bayonetta game out there when it comes to action and everything. Buy the game, hashtag buy Bayonetta 3. I'm going to put that hashtag in here also. I'm probably not going to buy it because I've never played it, but I'll explain more of that at the end. Look at, this is what IMDB. Look at this. Okay, I got to move myself just a little bit, but like, look at this. We got Smash, Bayonetta 2, Smash for 3DS, Bayonetta the anime. And look, gee, 
2012, 2013, 2014, 2014, 2014. And this is like the exact same. This is the exact same. And she uses the same clips in Smash Ultimate. Bruh, Alana Taylor, if you're watching this video, please seek some help. Like, seek some actual help, please. Like, don't tank your career like this. Like, as someone who wants to get into the same business, don't sink the ship. Don't go after people that are your friends or supposed friends. Don't go after people who might have the same job, like, position as you. Because that just makes you look childish. I don't know what you think that you commanded, but maybe you should have done some other games in between that, like Jennifer Hale. You know, if you're going to throw shots and everything, maybe you should have actually done some work in between so you can command a higher salary. But, hey, it is what it is. What do you guys think about this? It just doesn't stop. It's here we go again. It's all over again. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thanks. All right, that wraps it up. Go, go. Uh, I have the hashtag in the, in the, in the channel and everything uh, in this video when it comes up. But this is another, 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 another drama that has happened and in the gaming industry. And I'm going to try my best, I'm like, obviously, with a lot of stuff, I don't try to, like, associate myself with dramas and stuff like that, because that just creates more drama. Because if someone puts in a bomb, of a, because uh, if someone starts the snowball, and someone else gets on top of the snowballs, it's going to create a bigger snowball. But because this was supposedly the end, and because I didn't do anything up to this, I think this is going to be my only beta 3 video, always beta, like, Lina Taylor video, because, you know what? I have better things to do. I have streams to get to. I have uh, games to play. I'm out here living my best life. I don't have time to deal with all of this. I will give my two cents on it because I am, of course, I love. I love gaming news. Like this is my favorite, my favorite thing to watch in the mornings. Whatever I'm what, sipping on my sipping on my coffee, but this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous at this point. Helena Taylor, if you're watching this, seek help. Jennifer Hale. Please don't get hurt by this, honestly. Like, if you, if they by any chance see this video, if any of the big people see this video, don't boycott a game because someone didn't get paid like fully. Like, I guess that sounds weird because like literally every everyone here doesn't get paid. Like, this, the world is not a fair place, and I know that's a hard pill to swallow for some people. And we can try our best to make the world a better place. But sinking an entire game, like an entire project, because you didn't like something, um, turning your back on friends, lying to your peers and other people, looking lying to your fans, like come on, I know you are better than this. I know that there's a lot of good people out here in in the internet land, but sometimes when I see stuff like this, it it it, it, it it's weird. It's weird. But that's what I'm going to wrap it up, like how OJ said, uh, Player Essence. Uh, I'll leave his video down below, as well as his base channel down below, so you guys can go and watch his content without me pausing. Use hashtag ByBanana3, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep gaming. <laughs>